so I'm really starting to get worried about Linny. Some of the things that happened on that first night uh, she was missing, when I came back the next morning, the door on the side of the house, the sliding door, was closed. And uh, part of the grilling under the patio, where it gets really narrow, where the cat really hangs out most, was uh, roughed up as if someone knocked it down to try and get a cat out of there. So there was clearly someone at the house trying to get a cat and may have used the very same technique I had used, which was the uh, house with the, just the one open entrance and the treats inside. Now the treats that I left are like these little chocolate bars, but they're the animal fat. And I all had only broken it up a little bit and scattered a few pieces about. And it was broken up much more meticulously into uh, long, thin stripes, like with one of the accesses, like someone was in there breaking up the treats more. So it's beyond me who could, who was in the house. There was someone in the house. I didn't make a big deal of it because I thought, you know, they didn't catch the cat either. But with Linny still being missing, I'm thinking maybe they caught the cat. And there's someone with Linny in their house in that neighborhood. They could be holding out for a reward or something, waiting for reward signs to go up, get something out of having caught the cat. first night I was out, the door was clearly open on the side of the house and they closed it. They closed that door. That door did not close itself, the sliding door that I was so crestfallen. I thought someone pulled that shut just as, you know, a good neighbor securing a house sort of maneuver. But then I'm piecing it together in my mind, the different things, the different little clues that were out of place, the way the uh, cat treats were broken up. The way that grilling was pushed in.
much do I let this go and how much do I not let this go? And how much do I let the kind of paranoia now that that kind of thinking provokes uh, seize me? Do I let it seize me? too late by the time I'm back from the container store. I could, it's a Friday night. I could knock on a few neighbors' doors. out for the people who are in the right.
possibilities are people I know and people I don't know. There's plenty of people around there who I don't know. But how would they know? How would they know? This comes off as personal. 